to Fast Money. We are live at the NASDAQ market site in New York's Times Square. Let's talk about Regis. Shares are higher today after Reuters reported interest from private equity firms. But a month ago here on Fast Money, hedge fund trader David Sackler, Moab Capital Partners, pitched to us why he thought the stock was a buy. David joins us now with a trade update. David, what are you doing now with Regis? Hi, Melissa. We continue to be long shares of Regis. Uh, as you mentioned, there have been a flurry of news reports about private equity interest in the company's strategic alternatives uh, process that they're undergoing. We continue to believe that the company will be acquired in the mid-20s, and uh, we hope that the process will be resolved in the next few weeks. So at what would you hold on until a deal is announced? Is that, is that your thinking? We would. I mean, we, yeah. we feel that the company's strong cash flow provides a floor underneath the shares should no deal be struck. Okay. So you, had, um, you brought to us a good trade that last time. What's your new trade here? We are long shares of Sturm Ruger, uh, the gun manufacturer. We believe that gun sales have stabilized at a higher than normal level following a bubble in gun sales after the uh, election of Barack Obama. Ruger trades at just four and a half times cash flow versus its best comparable Smith & Wesson at six times cash flow. Um, we, Ruger is the leader in concealed weapon sales, which is the hottest segment of the gun industry, and we also believe that Ruger would make a very good acquisition candidate uh, for the Freedom Group, which is a roll-up of firearms manufacturers that's slated to go public shortly. Wow, I didn't even know that existed, the Freedom Group. That's fascinating. <laughs> they, <laughs> um, so they actually own Remington. Oh, they do. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and uh, we should note that Sir Ruger has about a 16% short interest. How does that play in your thesis? Does that provide an underlying floor for the stock? Well, we, we feel that people have misunderstood the rise and fall in new gun permits issued. When, when Obama was elected and the Supreme Court was deciding on the D.C. gun ban, which they subsequently struck down, the handgun ban, um, sales of our, our permits, excuse me, um, hit their all-time peak. They've subsequently come down from that, but what you're mm -hmm. seeing in numbers is that all those people who bought one gun uh, for fear that they would never be able to buy another one have, have become loyal gun buyers and continue to buy more and more guns. Right. Um, and so sales have maintained their strong level. Okay, David, going to leave it there. Thanks so much, David Sackler of Moab Capital. You upped your gun purchases, and, No, but I was, I was desperately <laughs> trying to come down. up, Tim, I was desperately trying to come up with a joke connecting Regis, which owns Supercuts with Ruger. guns. You know, for those that have been in the Supercuts before, but I just couldn't Got make that. Got a bad connection. haircut? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. I was trying. I was trying. Okay. Um, we should note that you can catch uh, David's full trading thesis on Ruger. That will be available on the homepage of sumzero.com, which is an online community where hedge fund analysts share trading ideas. That's beginning a Wednesday evening, so you catch that there. Meantime, all this.